Hello and welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I wanted to look at this. This is using fibre paper casting to make names using pattern bar scrap. So this one, which is a, um, for Coral, one of our lovely employees for her son Gabriel, we've used various different uh, pattern bars and cut them up to make this gradient piece and then made it kind of an ocean themed one. And then we also just used a load of the, the scrap to make this word love. It's sort of a hippie love for this sunny Croatian day. So today I'm going to show you how to make these. Um, so we have cut love out of fibre paper um, and guys I flipped it. Uh, with the Gabriel I noticed that I really liked the underside where you had um, sort of texture on top. So with this I've cut it out and then I'm flipping it so then we can, um, when we fire polish it, we'll flip it back over and the kind of tector will be on top and it gives a bit of depth to the piece, which is nice. So we've got to cut a load of um, uh, just three millimeter scrap glass here, tector. And I'm just gonna fill up the bottom layer. I, mean, I want a good covering of tector. So pretty much we're gonna have a whole kind of area of clear um, before the, the pattern bars. Now what's great about these pattern bars is they're quite hippie-ish and kind of using the word love and hippie, um, kind of hippie pattern bars, I think works quite well as a, for a project. So I quite like this idea. Um, so I'm gonna get the tech to filled in and then we can look at the pattern bars. So I've got some um, pattern bar scrap here and I'm just chopping it up using mosaic cutters into sort of chunks. Now you want to make sure whichever kind of chunk you like the look of that you're putting the good side down. So I like the pattern here and I'm going to put that down here. So like this, if I wanted to use that side, I need to make sure that's down, but actually I'm going to try and put these side on. Now I'm leaving them reasonably big so that they will kind of melt down and spread um, uh, through, I mean, when I say big, they're kind of long so that they're, they'll kind of they'll melt down to the six mil. Um, afterwards it's also this way they kind of fit nicely in the smaller gaps like so so I'm just going to go carry on cutting pieces of pattern bars um, and just kind of spacing them out between them um, in the love so we filled it up all as a mix and I just didn't think it looked that great so we've taken everything out again and we're going to start again and I think I'm going to kind of go in sections, so I'm going to maybe use a, um, a bit of this uh, here and then I might move on to another colour so that we keep the same sort of colours together. Um, I think it's going to look better than having it all um, mixed up. So we'll have a look at that and I can show you how it looks when I'm done. Uh, so now as you see we've um, blocked the colours together and I think it looks much much better. So this will go in the kiln on a full fuse and we can see how it looks when it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln. So you've got to flip it over and then you can read the love. Um, I have cleaned it up, but I still need to sandblast to clean up the edges. So I'm gonna give it a nice sandblast all over. I'm gonna start sandblast front, front and back. back. Um, you know, the pattern bars were ground, but you will get um, sometimes this kind of uh, gritty residue and it's very kind of dull um, using pattern bars. Um, so just be warned about that. If you want to avoid it, you need to kind of encase them full in glass or cut the, um, edges off that where they were uh, with the fiber paper. So I'm gonna give it all a good sandblast and then it will go back into the kiln for a uh, attack fuse. I'm thinking actually that this would be quite nice as a hanging piece. Um, you can put some hooks on it or actually I'm just gonna use those two letters to hang it so it can just hang up. Oh, my very large necklace. Love, love. Anyway, uh, we'll put it back in the kiln and see how it is. So I've now sandblasted this, um, I sandblasted both sides. I mean, there's still some roughness on, on the pattern bars here, but this will be the kind of underside anyway. I've decided we will put some hooks on this when we put it into fire polish. Um, that can also tack fuse a couple of hooks 
onto the, um, the here and here. It'll just sort of hang up nice. So you can put it in a frame as well. We had some splodging here. Now guys, we, when we first did it and we showed you um, decide, and put all the colors in kind of uh, higgledy piggledy, um, we also poured some little scrap dust in and um, that sort of made it look dirty here and kind of here. It doesn't look quite as nice as everywhere else. So um, I decided just to add a couple of flame work flowers um, to these areas, just to sort of, you know, cover that up a little bit. Um, just need to dry that off before I put the, and I'm just doing the same over here. Um, I've just literally taken what we had available in stock, so I haven't really thought about it too carefully, but I'm just gonna literally put that and that on, um, no more than that, and have that, you know, as the, as the piece to cover up. So if there's ever, you know, an area you don't like in one of these, you can always tack you something on afterwards, or if you want to tack you something on afterwards, to so give it even more three, 3D feel, it's great. So this will go on the kiln, as I said, on the tack fuse, and we can see when it's, when it's finally done. So here is the love with the pattern bar scrap. It's fantastic. I'm so glad we put these couple of flowers on. It just gives that extra little bit of texture. I'm gonna point out there is a bit of roughness um, kind of here and the edge here where you do get the kind of pattern bar, um, uh, not the pattern bar, the edges of the pattern bar. Um, so if you don't love that, you know, just be careful when you're using the edges that you make sure that they're capped in clear. So this edge here wasn't capped in clear and neither was this bit. But for the most part, because we have managed to cap most of it in clear, it does look awesome. And I love the kind of 3D feel. You can kind of looking down into the glass, which is great and really works incredibly well. I hope you've liked this love. Remember that all of our pattern bars are available on the website, tabletsglassemporium.com. And you can subscribe to our newsletter to hear about any new products. And we hope to see you next time.